Well, I guess when we go back in uh, February, uh, he'll be the senior ranking delegate out of the Eastern Panhandle, Wayne Clark, who has won re-election. Good Wayne, morning. good morning. Thanks for joining us. Congratulations. Good morning, everybody. Thank you. Very excited that, uh, for what happened last night. You took on uh, a fellow uh, who you uh, labeled as someone who, in the previous two debates, called for a tax hike and then... Uh, and uh, the guy doubled down during your forum appearance <laughs> with you and said, yes, tax hikes would be good. Uh, so this would have seemed to have been a pretty much of a slam dunk. But th anybody who had Jefferson County in their precinct uh, or in their in their district, John, had a tighter race uh, than those who were just simply Berkeley County. I, I noticed that uh, Bill Ridenauer had a tight one. Chris Anders had a tight one. And, and you came in under 60%. Even Senator Rucker got 61% in a state that basically was 70% uh, pro-Republican around the area. Were you having any concerns on the election night results? I was nervous. Um, I was nervous leading up to the to the election. Uh, my district and when we did the redistricting, my district is very tight. Um, so I, I was I was nervous going in. Uh, I was happy with the margin of victory. I think that put a uh, strong statement out to the folks of, of Jefferson County that they want me in Charleston representing them. And I'm excited to go back down there. Maria? So because of your senior status then, Wayne, do you get a position in leadership? Um, what would you predict um, that, uh, well, that will would, happen? Yeah, I was already vice chair of economic development, That's which right. is a major committee. Um, I will. I, what are you I looking for? How about that? How about well, that? I, I'm anticipating that I stay um, in economic development. Okay. Um, and you know, there's there's been rumors of maybe some movings and potentially uh, education, but we'll see. You know, Roger and 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 Matt and Clay are going to put together uh, all the committees here over the next uh, few weeks and make announcements in December. So um, wherever they see me fit, um, I will maintain, I'll, I'll gladly accept. Um, I'll continue uh, running the Eastern Panhandle Caucus. Uh, I've been the chair of that, um, I, you know, caucus appointed um, over the last uh, uh, two years, and we'll continue on uh, meeting that uh, on a, we meet uh, during session every other week for the first month and then every week. and. We sit down, and that's everybody from the House and Senate, and discuss, you know, important bills that we need to see done for the Eastern Panhandle to make sure that the Eastern Panhandle is maintaining its representation um, and getting things done. Bill, yeah, uh, Wayne, congratulations. First, uh, looking strictly at Berkeley, uh, Jefferson County, I see that the uh, uh, Republicans won every race with exception of one. Were you surprised that Lucia Valentine beat Chris Andrews uh, in Jefferson County? Was I surprised? Yes, uh -huh. I don't think so. I don't think I was surprised that Lucia um, uh, was beating Chris Anders, um, and, and and that's because I think she ran a really good campaign. Um, she stuck to her her principles. Um, and, you know, again, it's another district that is, you know, a little more uh, Democrat than it is Republican. Um, obviously, you know, uh, he, he took the Berkeley County votes that uh, got him across the finish line. But, uh, you know, I, I don't think necessarily it was a surprise. Okay. Wayne, congratulations on your win and uh, another two years in the House, sir. Well, thank you. I'm excited. I'm happy. Um, already started working on getting stuff done. So uh, we'll see what uh, what the next two years brings for the Eastern Panhandle. All the best to you, Wayne. Thank you. Thanks, Wayne. Thank you, Thank Wayne. You. All right. Bye. Uh, another winner last night.